morning my dear students in yesterday class already i have explained about the wave number and uh, you know how to calculate the wavelength and uh, frequency of the emitted uh, spectral line and uh, electron is transition to stress from higher energy state to the lower energy state it means higher energy state of the orbit to the lower energy state of the orbit okay now in hydrogen atom especially in h atom in h atom it is only one electron now in the nucleus there is one proton one neutron then the electron move around the nucleus only there is one electron how you got the so many number of spectral lines in the hydrogen spectrum that is the question Now see here, this is the nucleus. This one is the nucleus, and this is the orbit. First orbit, second orbit, third orbit. Now this is first, second, third, and the fourth one, fifth one, sixth one, seventh one, eighth one. Like this, there are so many orbits. When electron, it is in the, it is the eighth orbit. Then it transition takes place. to any lower energy state or it takes place the successive transition for one transition it emits the electromagnetic radiation it give the one spectrum if it uh, uh, undergo successive transitions it give the so many spectrum for one transition one transition there is one spectrum that uh, having certain frequency and certain wavelength that wavelength and frequency and energy it depends on the transition takes place from which orbit to which lower orbit yav higher orbit in the yav lower orbit ge transition akti annodra mele depend agutta using uh, that orbits higher energy and lower energy orbit you put that value Uh, a into orbit, higher orbit, n one orbit, first uh, there is a lower orbit, and substitute the value you got the wave number. Already you know this is Rydberg constant here. R is indicated one point zero nine seven into ten to the power of seven Rydberg constant. You substitute this value, you substitute the orbit number, you got the value of what you say wave number. Now so reciprocal of the wave number, reciprocal of the wave number, it gives the wave. Now, the wave number is the wave number. At the end, what they are the wavelength number. Now, the wavelength what the our c is equal to new into lambda. New is equal to c by lambda. C is a that is a three into ten to the power of eight meter per second. Then you substitute this one. That will give you what the frequency. Or again, see the frequency is equal to. I mean, the wave number is equal to. I mean, the wavelength number is equal to. Can I get more? Okay, but yes, no. It gives us so many. Now this is this is the expression for the wave number for any atom. This one for uh, hydrogen atom is equal to one. For Z is equal to one. One by the amount of wave number R into the get one upon n square minus one upon n plus square. This is for hydrogen atom. This is for hydrogen atom. Now it gives us so many spectral lines and uh, divide into different groups here. There are so many spectral lines in the hydrogen spectrum. It is divided into groups. As you said to me, that is a series. One is you said to be Lyman series. Second one is Baumer series. Next one is Pascal series. And uh, uh, third one is Brackett series. And uh, there is a fourth one, Brackett series. Fifth one is Diffin series. First one is Lyman series. Second one Baumer series. Third one Pascal series. And uh, uh, fourth one is Brackett series. And uh, uh, last one is Diffin series. Now so, see. Now this uh, series of spectral line, this spectral line is not allowed. If this series is not allowed, if this series is not allowed, one spectral line will take the value of this spectral line. Is not Suppose the Baumer series is not allowed, if this number of spectral line is not allowed, one spectral line will take the frequency value of this spectral line. If this series is not allowed, the other spectral line will take the frequency value of this series. If this series is not allowed, the other spectral line will be equal to this. Entirely different. All the spectrum 
spectral lines in the spectrum, they are having their own frequency and their, their own wavelength and depending upon transition of the electron from which orbit to the which higher orbit to the which lower orbit. Now, Lyman series. Lyman series is the spectral series in the hydrosis spectrum. Uh, it is having the spectral lines during the transition of the electron from higher orbits to the first orbit. Lyman series is the number of spectral lines. They are emitted during the transition in the hydrogen atom, during the transition of the electron from higher orbits to the first orbit. Here n1 equal to 1, n2 equal to 2, 3, 4, 5, and so on up to infinity. Now this uh, series lying ultraviolet region. In the whole electromagnetic spectrum, it is in the ultraviolet region. Then we come to the Bomber series. The Bomber series consists of the so many spectral lines that are emitted during the transition of the electron from higher orbits to the second orbit. In lower orbit, second orbit. In lower orbit, first orbit. Higher orbits to the second orbit. Now, these spectral lines, the spectral series, it is lying in a visible region. Suppose, very first line in the Bomber series, Earth alpha line, at that time, n1 equal to 2, n2 is equal to 3 half of For H beta 9, n1 is equal to n1 equal to 2, n2 is equal to 4. For H gamma line, n1 is equal to 2, n2 is equal to 5. Here, n1 is equal to 2, n2 is equal to 6, and so on. These are said to be. When the spectral line is emitted during the transition from very next orbit to the second orbit, it means third orbit to the second orbit, that is said to be first member of the Bomber series. First member of the Bomber series. And second member, third member, fourth member, and so on. And last member is what? Last member, that is n1 is equal to 2, n2 is equal to infinity. You take this one, it will be the last member of the Bomber series. And right, this is a set to be series limit. This is a set to be series limit. Then Pascal series. Pascal series is the containing the spectral lines which are emitted during the transition of the electron from higher orbit orbits to the third orbit. Higher orbits to the third orbit. Once again, that will be the Pascal series, it consists of the spectral lines which are emitted during the transition of the electrons from higher orbits to the third orbit. Now it is lying in the infrared region. Then again, first, uh, first member, second member, you have to write similar version. Next, uh, bracket series. Bracket series it consists of the number of spectral lines which are emitted during the transition of the electron from the higher orbits to the fourth orbit. From higher orbits to the fourth orbit. Here n1 equal to 4, n2 equal to 5, 6, 7, 8, and so on up to infinity. Then p series. p series, it contains the spectral lines which are emitted during the transition of the electron from higher orbits to the fifth orbit. Higher orbits to the fifth orbit. Again, uh, uh, n1 equal to 5, n2 equal to 6, 7, 8, 9, so on up to infinity. In each and every series, series limit at that time. Series limit. Here, here n1 equal to 1. N2 is equal to 2. This is our first member. And series limit, N1 is equal to 1. N2 is equal to infinity. It gives the last member. It gives the last member. Similarly, you have to substitute N1 and N2. In each and every series, you got the series limit. Matra Satya Hitana. Spectral series in the Pachakanta. Ade series in the Pachakanta. Now this spectral line should go, one spectral line will go, in one spectral line will be equal to the tally of the law. I mean, one series will be equal to the spectral line, in one series will be equal to the spectral line, in one series will be equal to the spectral line, in one series will be equal to the law. प्रति वन दो स्पेक्ट्रल लाइन हम तन्नदे आरंभ तो वेलेंस रहता तन्नदे आरंभ तो फ्रीक्वेंसी रहता प्रॉब्लम वो लोग खेल तारे हैं खेल तारे ये नहीं तो ना याव लाइन न दादू याव से निजी तो याव लाइन न दादू दूर वेलेंस फ्रीक्वेंसी कंडेंट लिखे क्या रोल दो फर्स्ट नंबर सेकंड नंबर थर्ड नंबर लास्ट नंबर लास्ट नंबर एक मिस दैट इज रिसेट में सीरीज नंबर एंड नाउ इट इज अबाउट डिस्कशन अबाउट दी स्पेक्ट्रल सीरीज स्पेक्ट्रल सीरीज हाइड्रोजन फॉर हाइड्रोजन पर्टिकुलरली दिस इज फॉर हाइड्रोजन 
ಹೈಡ್ರೋಜನ್ ಐಟಮ್ ಇರದ ಒಂದು ಎಲೆಕ್ಟ್ರಾನ್ ಹೇಗೆ ಇಷ್ಟೆಲ್ಲ ಸ್ಪೆಕ್ಟ್ರಲೈಸ್ ಬರುತ್ತದೆ ನಾ ಹೇಳಿದೆ ಸೊ ನಿಮಗೆ ಅನ್ನಿಸಿರುತ್ತೆ ಎಲೆಕ್ಟ್ರಾನ್ ಟ್ರಾನ್ಸಿಷನ್ ಬೇಕಾದ ಕಾರಣದಿಂದ ಬೇಕಾದ ಅಡ್ಮಿಟ್ ಆಗಬಹುದು ಅವಾಗ ಏನು ಕೊಡ್ತದೆ ಹೇಳಿರೋದು ಸ್ಪೆಕ್ಟ್ರಲೈನ್ ಕೊಡ್ತಾ ಯಾವಾಗ ಎಲೆಕ್ಟ್ರಾನ್ ಟ್ರಾನ್ಸಿಷನ್ ಅಂದರೆ ಎಲ್ಲಿಂದ ಇಲ್ಲಿಗೆ ಹೈಯರ್ ಆಗಬೇಕಿಂದ ಲೋವರ್ ಆಗಬೇಡಿ ಥ್ಯಾಂಕ್ ಯು ಗುಡ್ ಮಾರ್ನಿಂಗ್ ಮೈ ಡಿಯರ್ ಸ್ಟೂಡೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ದಿಸ್ ಐ ಓನ್ಲಿ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪ್ಲೈನ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ದ ಎನರ್ಜಿ ಲೆವೆಲ್ ಡೈಗ್ರಾಮ್ ಇನ್ ಪ್ರೀವಿಯಸ್ ವಿಡಿಯೋ ಕ್ಲಿ ಯು ಆಲ್ರೆಡಿ ಯು ಸ್ಟಡೀಡ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ದ ಸ್ಪೆಕ್ಟ್ರಲ್ ಸೀರೀಸ್ ದೇರ್ ಆರ್ ಡಿಫ್ರೆಂಟ್ ಸೀರೀಸ್ ದೇರ್ ಆರ್ ಫೈವ್ ಸೀರೀಸ್ ಇನ್ ಹೈಡ್ರೋಜನ್ ಐಟಮ್ ದೇರ್ ಇಸ್ ಓನ್ಲಿ ಒನ್ ಎಲೆಕ್ಟ್ರಾನ್ ಬಟ್ ಇಟ್ ಗಿವ್ಸ್ ದ ಸೋ ಮೆನಿ ನಂಬರ್ ಆಫ್ ಸ್ಪೆಕ್ಟ್ರಲ್ ಲೈನ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಹೈಡ್ರೋಜನ್ ಸ್ಪೆಕ್ಟ್ರಮ್ ಹಾಯ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ದ ಎಲೆಕ್ಟ್ರಾನ್ಸ್ ಈಸ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಹೈಯರ್ ಎನರ್ಜಿ ಆರ್ಬಿಟ್ ಸ್ಟೇಟ್ ಇಟ್ ಟ್ರಾನ್ಸಿಷನ್ ಟೇಕ್ಸ್ ಪ್ಲೇಸ್ ಟು ಎನಿ ಲೋವರ್ ಆರ್ಬಿಟ್ ಆರ್ ಇಟ್ ಗಿವ್ ದ ಅಂಡರ್ ಗೋ ದ ಸಕ್ಸಸಿವ್ ಟ್ರಾನ್ಸಿಷನ್ಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಈಚ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಎವ್ರಿ ಟ್ರಾನ್ಸಿಷನ್ ಇಟ್ ಗಿವ್ ದ ಒನ್ ಸ್ಪೆಕ್ಟ್ರಲ್ ಲೈನ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದ್ಯಾಟ್ ಸ್ಪೆಕ್ಟ್ರಲ್ ಲೈನ್ ಹ್ಯಾವಿಂಗ್ ಸರ್ಟನ್ ಎನರ್ಜಿ ಸರ್ಟನ್ ಫ್ರೀಕ್ವೆನ್ಸಿ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಸರ್ಟನ್ ವೇಲ್ಯೂ ದ್ಯಾಟ್ ಹೌ ಟು ಕ್ಯಾಲ್ಕುಲೇಟ್ ಈಸಿಲಿ ಓಕೆ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಐ ಕೌಂಟ್ ಟು ದ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ದ ಎನರ್ಜಿ ಲೆವೆಲ್ ಡೈಗ್ರಾಮ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಹೈಡ್ರೋಜನ್ ಐಟಮ್ ಎನರ್ಜಿ ಲೆವೆಲ್ ಡೈಗ್ರಾಮ್ ಬಿಫೋರ್ ಗೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಟು ದ್ಯಾಟ್ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಐ ವಾಂಟ್ ಟು ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪ್ಲೈನ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ದ ಎನರ್ಜಿ ಆಫ್ ಎಲೆಕ್ಟ್ರಾನ್ ಇನ್ ಎನ್ ಟಾರ್ಬಿಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಹೈಡ್ರೋಜನ್ ಐಟಮ್ ನಾ ಆಲ್ರೆಡಿ ನೋ ದಿಸ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪ್ರೆಷನ್ ಎನರ್ಜಿ ಆಫ್ ಎಲೆಕ್ಟ್ರಾನ್ ಇನ್ ಎನ್ ಟಾರ್ಬಿಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಹೈಡ್ರೋಜನ್ ಐಟಮ್ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಯೋರ್ ರೈಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಇನ್ ಎನ್ ಎನ್ ಇಸ್ ಇಕ್ವಲ್ ಟು ಮೈನಸ್ ಎಮ್ ಇ ಎಸ್ ಟು ಫೋರ್ ಏಟ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ ಲಾನ್ ಆರ್ ಸ್ಕ್ವೇನ್ ಸ್ಕ್ವೇರ್ ಸ್ಕ್ವೇರ್ ಸಬ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಚೌ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಅ ಟೋಟಲ್ ಎನರ್ಜಿ ಆಫ್ ದ ಎಲೆಕ್ಟ್ರಾನ್ ಇನ್ ಎನ್ ತಾರ್ಬಿಟ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿ ಹೈಡ್ರೋಜನ್ ಐಟಮ್ ಇದು ಚೌ ಗಳಾಗ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಈ ತರ ಬರೀತೀವಿ ಇದು ಇ ರೇಸ್ ಟು ಫೋರ್ ಬದಲಾಗಿ ಇ ರೇಸ್ ಟು ತ್ರೀ ಬರೆದ್ರೆ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಚಾರ್ಜ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿ ಎಲೆಕ್ಟ್ರಾನ್ ಡಿವೈಡ್ ಮಾಡಿದ್ರೆ ಜೌ ನೋಡಿರ್ತದೆ ಎನರ್ಜಿ ಏನು ಎನರ್ಜಿ ಜೌ ನೋಡಿರ್ತದ ಆ ಒಡೆ ಒಂದು ಎನರ್ಜಿ ಇವು ಡಿವೈಡ್ ಬೈ ಎಲೆಕ್ಟ್ರಾನ್ ಎಲೆಕ್ಟ್ರಾನ್ ವ್ಯಾಲ್ಯೂ ಒನ್ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ ಇಂಟು ಟೆನ್ ಟು ದ ಪವರ್ ಆಫ್ ಮೈನಸ್ ನೈಂಟಿ ನಾವು ಈ ವರ್ಡ್ನ ಆನ್ಸರ್ ಇನ್ ದಿ ಎಲೆಕ್ಟ್ರಾನ್ ವರ್ಡ್ ಈ ಎಷ್ಟು ಟು ಫೋರ್ ಬರೆದ್ರೆ ಫಾರ್ಮುಲ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಮೆಸರ್ಡ್ ಇನ್ ಜಾವ್ ಇ ಎಷ್ಟು ಟು ತ್ರೀ ಬರೆದ್ರೆ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಮೆಸರ್ಡ್ ಇನ್ ಎಲೆಕ್ಟ್ರಾನ್ ನೋ ಇ ಎನ್ ಇಸ್ ಈಕ್ವಲ್ ಟು ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಇ ಎನ್ ಇಸ್ ಈಕ್ವಲ್ ಟು ಮೈನಸ್ ಒನ್ ಬೈ ಎನ್ ಸ್ಕ್ವೇರ್ ಹೊರಗಡೆ ತಕ್ಕಳಿ ಬಂದಿದ್ದು ಎಮ್ ಇ ಎಷ್ಟು ತ್ರೀ ಬರೀಬಿ ಇ ಎನ್ ಎಷ್ಟು ತ್ರೀ ಏಟ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ ಲಾನ್ ನಾನ್ ಸ್ಕ್ವೇರ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ ಸ್ಕ್ವೇರ್ ನಾವು ಯೂ ಸಬ್ಜೆಕ್ಟ್ ಟು ದ ಮಾಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಎಲೆಕ್ಟ್ರಾನ್ ನೈನ್ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಒನ್ ಇಂಟು ಟೆನ್ ಟು ದ ಪವರ್ ಆಫ್ ಮೈನಸ್ ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ಒನ್ ಕೆ ಜಿ ಚಾರ್ಜ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಎಲೆಕ್ಟ್ರಾನ್ ಒನ್ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ ಇಂಟು ಟೆನ್ ಟು ದ ಪವರ್ ಆಫ್ ಮೈನಸ್ ನೈನ್ಟೀನ್ ಕುಲಾಮ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ ಲಾನ್ ನಾಟ್ ಸ್ಕ್ವೇರ್ ಏಟ್ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಏಟ್ ಫೈವ್ ಫೋರ್ ಇಂಟು ಟೆನ್ ಟು ದ ಪವರ್ ಆಫ್ ಮೈನಸ್ ಟ್ವೆಲ್ ಪ್ಲಾನ್ ಮಾಸ್ಟ್ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಟೂ ಫೈವ್ ಇಂಟು ಟೆನ್ ಟು ದ ಪವರ್ ಆಫ್ ಮೈನಸ್ ತರ್ಟಿ ಫೋರ್ ಜೋಲ್ ಸೆಕೆಂಡ್ ಯು ಸಬ್ಜೆಕ್ಟ್ ಟು ಆಲ್ ದ ವ್ಯಾಲ್ಯೂಸ್ ಯು ಗಾಡ್ ದಿಸ್ ವ್ಯಾಲ್ಯೂ ಇಸ್ ಆನ್ಸರ್ ಇಸ್ ತರ್ಟೀನ್ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ ದೆನ್ ದಿಸ್ ವ್ಯಾಲ್ಯೂ ಇಸ್ ತರ್ಟೀನ್ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ ಟ್ವೆಲ್
these are said to be excited state 3.4, 1.5, these are excited state energies this is ground state energy, lower most orbit energy that is called ground state energy now come to the energy level diagram what is energy level diagram? it is a diagram draw the different energy states in horizontal line draw the different energy states of the orbit draw along horizontal line ok then particularly that is the energy the vertical line indicates the transition of the electron from higher orbits to the any one of the lower orbit horizontal line it shows the transition of the electrons from higher energy states to the lower energy state then horizontal line indicates there is the energy states different energy states now see here in Lyman series the transition of electron from higher orbits to the first orbit Bomber series shows the transition of the electron from higher energy states to the second orbit second energy state and uh, Pascal series it is the transit during the transition of the electron from higher orbits to the third orbit and similarly for the bracket series higher orbits to the fourth orbit and uh, transition of the electron from higher orbits to the fifth orbit this is the p fund series Roglo will be able to the nucleus this is the orbit the first orbit this is the second orbit this is the third orbit this is the fourth orbit do first the second the third the fourth the fifth the amale sixth the amale seventh the how the ये नावेन मरते हैं ये एटम मरते हैं इलेक्ट्रॉन में फर्स्ट आर्ग में नहीं आता है फर्स्ट आर्ग में सपोज यू गिव द सर्टेन एनर्जी लेट अस योर टेक द दिस वर्ड एनर्जी दैट एनर्जी इज गिवन टू द एटम देन व्हाट अपन्स दिस इलेक्ट्रॉन एब्सोर्ब दैट एनर्जी एंड जंप टू द हायर एनर्जी स्टेट when electron gain the energy and shifted to the higher energy state then it is said to be excitation this is now another way excitation mantra then atom is said to be excited atom in a small interval of time again it comes to back to the ground state that electron comes back to the ground state that is the difference now whatever the amount of energy required to excite the atom or to jump the electron from its uh, orbit to the higher orbit this is called excitation energy other than that we excitation energy <coughs> excitation energy once again we when atom absorb the energy it means electron absorb the energy and it jump to the higher orbit this is called excitation then atom is said to be excited atom whatever the amount of energy required to excite the atom or shift the electron from its orbit, orbit to the higher orbit this is called excitation energy then you come to the ionization energy what is the ionization now electron is in the first orbit you remove the electron from its orbit to the infinite distance to remove the electron from its orbit to the infinite distance this process is called ionization when you remove the electron from its uh, orbit to infinite distance then that atom is said to be ionized atom is said to be ionized then whatever the amount of energy required to remove the electron from its orbit to the infinite distance that energy is called ionization energy ionization energy ionization ionized atom ionization energy excitation Excited atom, excitation energy. This is about the Q point. Again, we come to the ionization potential and excitation potential. These are the few points about the energy level diagram and ionization and the excitation. Now, next video will look the limitations of the Niels Bohr atom and one more factor atom model. We can explain each chapter. Thank you.